Let me make sure this video is not in slow-mo because I just filmed a whole video and it was in slow-mo, so let me make sure. Okay, we're good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new. Today, I'm gonna be giving y'all the, I'm not, I'm giving you the, I'm giving you, I'm giving you everything basically. Every step and every tip that you need to become a successful crochet artist or crochet business or crochet social media account or crochet anything like fiber artist. I'm gonna give y'all the tippityest tips, tips and steps on how to be a successful crocheter and crochet artist and all that. Um, if you see me looking down on my phone, it's because I have all the tips. I have like everything written down. That's what I'm gonna be referencing. I'm gonna be giving you guys everything that I wish I knew, everything that I do know and everything that I've learned along the way so that you don't have to make the same mistakes as me. We're just gonna get right into the video. I'm gonna start with giving y'all steps and then between the steps, I'm gonna give you guys tips and then I'm going to give you guys, like I'm gonna get you guys sponsorships, promotions, affirmations. Like I'm gonna give you guys everything that I do and everything that you might need and everything that you might want. And I'm just gonna give you guys all the tips. I'm not, we're not gatekeeping around here. Like I'm telling y'all everything that I've learned over the past year. And I'll also give you guys some statistics just in case you don't believe me. I started my TikTok last year in June, July, August, sometime around there. And since then I have grown from zero to 142K, I think. So being on TikTok pushed people to my Etsy. In a year on Etsy, I have made, I've made 10,000 in a year. And that's like with me making mistakes throughout the process. So if you wanna make more than me, Listen up, listen up, okay? So we're gonna start with steps. Say you are you just crochet for fun, you do it as a hobby, maybe you sell to like your friends or family. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna download every social media app ever. You're gonna download TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube. You're gonna download everything that you could possibly use to promote yourself because that is where you're gonna get all of your income and all of your revenue and all of your people and all of your everything. So you're gonna download all of those apps if you're only gonna download one, you need to download TikTok. TikTok is the most important one. Instagram is second to that. Download those apps. Also download the app that you're gonna be selling your stuff on. I use Etsy and Etsy has worked fine for me. I've been using Etsy for like two years, three, two, two, three years, I don't know. But it works fine for me. The fees are not as bad as you would think. A lot of people talk about the Etsy fees and while they're, yes, they're there and they definitely tribute to money loss, they're not as bad as you would think. Like, I don't think that Etsy takes out that much. So I think Etsy is a pretty solid place to start as a beginner. But if you don't wanna do Etsy, then I've seen my mutuals, like a lot of my mutuals and a lot of other people I know that crochet, they use Depop and Shopify. And I don't know, I think that's all I've really heard of. There's probably other places. If there's other ones, I'll put it on the screen. But download one of those apps. You're gonna either wanna download, sell on Etsy, Depop, or you can go online and do the whole Shopify thing. But I feel like that's more of like a, We'll get into that later. Or you could do TikTok shop. I heard TikTok shop is pretty cool, but I don't really know anything about that. I only know Etsy, and that's what I'm gonna give you guys tips on because I don't really know anything else. You're gonna download that app and you're gonna have all that clear, done, complete. You could do Shopify or Wix and start your own website, but something that I noticed with that is that you're putting a lot of money into something that you don't know if it's gonna work out. Like, I'm not saying that it's not gonna work out. Don't get me wrong, it'll work out. But when you start your shop you're not gonna get a lot of traffic in there unless like you're god willing you blow up but i know when i started i wasn't getting any sales like i don't i don't think that shopify is the smartest place to start because if you're paying 50 dollars a month for two sales you're not really you're not really making back what you paid so i think that shopify should be something that you do further down the line once you've already gotten your client or not your clients once you've already gotten your like loyal customers and you're already getting a lot of traffic, then you can maybe make the switch to Shopify or like some kind of website builder. But I think you should always start on something that will promote your stuff for free by itself and it's cheap. So yeah, those are some places to start. Step two, you're gonna wanna create your name, your profile picture, your logo, about me, buy all of that extra stuff. So you wanna create your brand name. Make this all of your social media handles, all of them. And I know that some of them like, Cause mine is Kano Made, but on Instagram Kano Made is taken, so I had to put K dot Ano Made. If it can't be the same, don't change it too much. Like maybe put like an underscore or a period, but make it to where you know, like if you have to change your name because it's taken, don't change it completely. Just add like a little little detail so people can still find you. Honestly, I don't really have any tips for your name. Just do something unique to you or something that you enjoy because you're stuck with it for well not forever. Let's not be dramatic, but you're stuck with it for like 30 days. So you're gonna wanna like it. Like go in your notes and play around with some names. I know you can ask ChatGPT. 
there's like multiple things to do. The inspo for my name, my uncle came up with it. It's my whole, like my whole name, Cameron Avery Jode Kane, Kano. Like it's all my names kind of combined and then made because everything is Kano made. So that's what, that's where mine came from. But there was definitely like times I was like KC Creations, Ojode Creations. Like I had like a bunch of trials of different names that I just keep testing it. Ask people what they think, ask people for advice. Like just keep testing until you find the name that you want. And then once you get that, make it your handle on everything. And then you're going to want to go into either Wix or Canva. And I know there's other websites you can use, but you're going to want to go into one of those things and you're going to want to make a logo. I like Wix because Wix gives you options to choose from and then you can just play around with it. And then Canva too, but Canva you got to kind of get a little more creative with it. Add like a little cute picture or something, something that relates to you and the color that you would like. Make sure that you have a circle one and a square one so then you can make it your profile picture and like just... I don't know. Just have a square in a circle, okay? They make that your profile picture for all these accounts that you just made. Then go into your notes app and create your bio because your bio is going to go, if you have Etsy, there's like a little about me section. You're going to want to put your bio or your about me there and you're going to have it. You want it to be solid. Like mine, honestly, I don't even remember what mine is. I'll put it on the screen, but make it something solid. Make it something that relates to you. Make it something, use a little bit of pathos, like make people feel free. Make people want to buy from you, you know, like really sell yourself because People read that. Then make yourself a bio on Instagram and TikTok. You don't really have to go into detail on that one. You could just put like where they can order or how they can message you for custom orders and things like that. You don't have to make it too much because I know whenever you start these things, I mean, at least on TikTok, you can't put a link tree, but on Instagram, put your link tree because I know on Instagram you put links. So go ahead and download link tree, the link tree app and you create your link tree, put your, put where you sell. So if it's Etsy, put your Etsy link. If it's Depop, put your Depop link, whatever. Put your social media. So put your TikTok, put your Instagram, put your Pinterest, put all of those in there and just have everything that people can access you on, put it all in your link tree. And then put that link tree in your bio, in your Instagram. Don't put it in your TikTok until you have a thousand followers because you can't put it in your TikTok without being like, okay, so if you have less than a thousand followers on TikTok, your link won't be clickable. It'll just be sitting in your bio and nobody's going to copy and paste that. Nobody's going to copy and paste that. I'm telling you. So just put like Etsy and then put like your Etsy name or Depop and then put your Depop name, Shopify, Shopify name, you know, whatever. And then once you hit that like 1000 and you can put your, your link tree in your bio, go ahead and do that. There's also templates on Etsy. So if you want to make like an Instagram post um, telling people that, hey, my shop is open, come shop with me, I, sh I sell on Etsy, you know, just kind of letting them know that you do customs or that you crochet and you sell or whatever. And you want to make it like a little post. Like I'll put an example of something I did, not for my Etsy, but for my hair account. If you go on Etsy, <clears throat> if you go on Etsy, Etsy has templates that you can purchase and you can just edit it and make it look pretty and therefore it's more clickable. More people are going to look at that and be like, oh, like what's going on? So you could do that as like promotion and post it on your story or post it wherever and it'll just be appealing to look at it and more people will want to click on it. But you don't have to pay for it. I don't pay for mine. I make my own on Canva and I just come up with my own designs because I'm not paying for something that I can do for myself. But if you don't want to like, if you don't have time to do all that, then yes, go ahead and buy the template. But if you do have time, just go into Canva and make yourself a cute little, hey, I'm, I'm selling on Etsy. Um, if you guys want to buy from me, here's about me, like things like that. And like your prices or whatever. If you want to do that, do that. And you can promote that. You can even make business cards and put them out in stores and stuff so people can buy from you. Or you can get like the little sticker, put it on your car. Like you can do whatever you want with it. Just you could use that for promoting yourself. Step three. Now that we have made all of the little logistic things, we're going to set up our account. You're going to start inputting these profile pictures, these logos and these bios into all the apps that I've mentioned. So like TikTok, put all your stuff in the bio, put all your stuff in the profile picture. Instagram, same thing. Post on your story. Like if you made the little Etsy template, post it on your story. Just, just update every single field that you can write on, write on it. So like bio, fill it out. About me, fill it out. Profile picture, fill it out. Fill out everything that you could possibly fill out so you look more trustworthy. Because if you just have like a profile picture, no bio, nobody's gonna, like you wanna make your stuff, cause people get bored fast. So you want people to go to your account and be able to quickly find what they wanna know. If they wanna know, where you sell, make sure they know as soon as they click on your profile picture where they, or as soon as they click on your profile, where they can find you. If they wanna know how much your stuff is, make sure they go on your profile and they can find it quick. Because even with me, like if I go to somebody's account or if I see something, I'm like, mm, I kinda wanna buy this. And I go and I can't find it, I'm like, mm, that's a sign that I shouldn't buy it. So make sure all your stuff is 
front center and they can see it. So once you input all this stuff, you're going to start following people that post the same kind of content as you. I, I don't think that you should not follow anybody because this is more of like a networking kind of thing because i know that some brands or like if you want to start your own business you don't want to follow the people because you don't want competition but i think that networking is really 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 important so that you don't feel so alone honestly because with, if i didn't have like mutuals that did the same thing as me i don't think that i would enjoy what i do as much as i do because i i come to them for tips they come to me for tips <coughs> <coughs> I go to them for inspo they come to me for inspo and we just kind of like it's a good way to network and to like have your account be shared to other people and other people share your account you share other people's account it's just like you also create like a really good friend if you have mutuals so i think it's really important to follow people with the um, around the same following as you um they post about the same stuff as you and like y'all are the same niche i i really 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 recommend to follow those people be consistent with their like like their posts comment on their posts like make a friend out of them because you don't know when you might need them one day like i'm telling you there's so many times where my mutuals have helped me so 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 much so i think that it's really important to have friends in this little world so yeah and they could also like promote you you know like i know that i have some some mutuals and they tag me and they're like hey this is her pattern like go check it out or this is her youtube channel she's so funny go check her out you know so like i think it's really important to have people with you like don't do it by yourself follow people lose your pride like it's really important okay step four now that we have all our social medias set up perfected pretty we're gonna want to set up our shop this is the part that's gonna take you a long time okay but you're gonna want to get the logistics, the logistics out the way, like your social security number, your card, your all that little boring stuff. And then once you're in, like you're actually in, take the most professional pictures that you can, either professional or aesthetic. There's only two two things that do well when you're selling, either professional pictures or aesthetic pictures. I personally like to go for the aesthetic pictures because I'm not that good at professional pictures, as you can see. My background is not professional, so I always go for like something aesthetic. And like set up like a little corner in your room or like a little corner outside anywhere that looks cute like put like a little plant behind you just add decoration in the back if you're going with aesthetic add decorations in the back add some paintings do something and make your pictures look bomb i'm telling you this is gonna make the biggest difference in your selling i don't know about y'all but if i see something in the background is like maybe i'm not buying it so make sure your pictures look good and what i always do or what i used to do when i didn't know if my pictures were good or not is i would send them to people and i would ask for their feedback honest people don't ask people that you know are going to compliment you ask very honest people like i always ask my best friend because she's always honest with me so ask or like ask your mom your mom will tell you okay <laughs> ask somebody that will be honest with you if your pictures look good or professional Add some cute decorations. You can order like um, little backdrops on Amazon. If you want to do professional, you can order like a black, a back, a, you can order like a white backdrop on Instagram and take pictures, set up the camera, take pictures, get yourself a ring light, get yourself good lighting. Good lighting is going to change everything. You need good lighting and you want to make sure that whatever you're posting is not taken away from the sole purpose of the picture. So make sure that you don't have like three crochet items in one picture and people are gonna like look at it and be like hey which which what is what is selling like make sure whatever you're selling is the focal point of the picture okay got it make sure your pictures are good and then on um etsy and depop and all those things fill out just like we did on instagram fill out every field that you possibly can fill out the description fill out the quantity fill out the if you're doing um custom orders fill up like the person personal personality what's it called the when you can like customize it i don't know fill out everything that you like everything and make sure that your description of the product is really 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 um thought out and really detailed because a lot of people look at that for like sizing and how big it is and all that stuff so really make sure that you fill the description out really really good like there's some things I want to know about a product and I it doesn't say it in the description and I like don't want to message the seller because I want to avoid communication at all costs. When the, when it's not in the description and I don't want to message the seller, I go ahead and move on to the next product, you know? So make sure your description is filled out for people that don't want to talk to you or don't want to message you. And also in your description, put 
message me if there's any questions i'm happy to answer like make sure that they know that you're open to talk to them and like don't be shy to message me i'll, I'll answer anything you want me to answer like really make sure that you're open to that like they know that you're open to communication and all that stuff because you like a lot if you go to my etsy a lot of my reviews are like um seller has excellent communication because i always always make sure that they're happy and i give them every detail that they could possibly want <clears throat> it just makes like even if it's like just a little crochet b plushie give them the details i'm telling you people want details give them every single detail possible if you don't know what to put in the description something i used to do or like if you don't know how to price your items something i used to do is i would look up on etsy like say i'm selling a crochet cardigan i will look up crochet cardigan and i will look at people's prices and compare them to other people's prices and i would be like okay so this person's selling it for 85 this person's selling it for 65. i believe that my product is better than this person's but not as good as this person so i'm gonna price in the middle of those two people and i'm gonna give it 75 you know just kind of bargain i don't really know like kind of just go off of what other people do and this is not stealing okay this is not stealing this is inspiration I don't do that anymore. Now I just kind of know what I'm worth and what my products are worth. But when I really didn't know, I would just go on other people's pages and be like, okay, you're selling it for this, you're selling it for this, so I should sell it for around the same price. That's what other people are selling it for, that's my competition. Let me make it either lower or higher based on what I feel that my product is. And also I would like ask people, like I would ask my mom, hey, how much would you buy this for? Or ask my friends like, hey, how much would you buy this for? And things like that. <clears throat> so that's how you can price. And then same with like the description of the product. I would look at other people's and I'll be like, oh, like I didn't even think to add this. Let me add that in my description, you know? It's just like little things that really make the product. <sighs> you, your competition, woo. And make sure you're pricing accordingly. Do not price too high, but do not price too low. And I know a lot of people say like, I, even still with me, like I'm at my grown, grown grown age still making crochet projects and i still undersell myself because i always feel like nobody's gonna want to buy this nobody's gonna want to but you don't know somebody's gonna want to buy it so a lot of people say like my prices are too low and a lot of people are going to tell you that too because more than likely you're going to have your prices low as you, you're starting sorry i need some lip gloss price at the perfect spot okay okay don't price your stuff too low you are worth way more than 15 dollars for a flower you're better than that. You are crafting something with your hands. Like, you could even price a little higher than you think because a lot of people find that crocheting is super, super hard, but it's not. And so they're like, oh my God, like they handcrafted this. They deserve so much money. When really it's like not that hard. Just be reasonable and understand that some people, some people really admire handmade work and some people don't. So take that in consideration whenever you're pricing. And also if you see that you post one of your listings and nobody's buying it for like a couple months, then you can maybe lower the price and see how it does for you. But if you're getting a lot of sales higher that every sale that you get, excuse me, every like two or three sales that I get on one product, I hire the price every single time because clearly it's doing really good. So let me just if you're doing really good, raise your prices. If you're not doing so good, lower your prices. Just go accordingly, pay attention to what does good and what doesn't. Everything is set up, everything is set up. You're ready, people can buy from you, all that. Now we're gonna start promoting. This is so, 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 so important. And if you think that running a business is just making and selling, no, you gotta promote, you gotta make, you gotta sell, you gotta work with people, you gotta connect. Like there's so much to it that a lot of people don't take into consideration. So I'm not saying that it's hard. A lot of people say that running a business is hard. I think that if you enjoy it, that it's not hard. Yes, it's difficult and yes, it's very, very, very stressful at times, but I find it to be really, really fun. I don't know, I kind of, I kind of like being busy, so, it's good for me but if you don't like being busy you don't like putting in work you don't like doing this then i don't think that this is meant for you per se but if you really want to like sell and do good you need to put in the work and we'll get into affirmations later but you're gonna post every single day minimum when i was first starting posting i posted every single day one time minimum five times max that's a little too much i never posted five times i think like two or three was my max but you're gonna post every single day, at least once a day. My tip is to post different content. So post, maybe one day you post a funny video, maybe one day you post crochet with me video, maybe one day you post like a Christmas crochet video, you know, just make different types of videos and just keep doing that until you see which one does the best. For me, I learned that my 
videos that showcase my personality and like me being funny those do the absolute best on my tiktok so i continue to post those kinds of videos to help my account grow and that really 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 helped me so just keep posting until you find your niche like different types of videos until you find the one that does best and just capitalize off that keep going keep going keep going on that video until you just killed it and then go to the next topic capitalize capitalize until you just kill it and just keep doing that until you've grown to the place that you want to be i suggest that you get a notebook and you plan your content that'll keep you organized and that'll keep you sane because if you if you wake up one day and then you're like oh my god i need to or like if you're like about to go to bed and you're like oh my god i need to post like i don't know what to post i recommend just writing down everything you want to make so like today i'll make like and you don't even have to make finished product like you can make how to crochet that's one video funny crochet video that's two videos crochet and grading square like just just do, make different videos go on like other crochet accounts you can even go on my crochet account and look at like steal my videos it's fine well hmm hmm don't steal my videos but like if you just go on other people's accounts look for inspo and go at it something i do is um i go on, like on my free page and if i see a video somebody does a video that's really well like somebody's like talking about reading i'll turn it into crochet you know like i will look at other videos that like are funny and do good and i like i say okay how can i make that crochet related for all my crochet people you know and that normally does really good for me so just stay on top of your stay on top of the trends stay on top of the trends i'm telling you stay on top of the trends is going to help you grow so 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 much i can't even tell like stay on top of trending audios and stay on top of trending hashtags stay on top of trending trends just stay on top of anything that's trending because you will grow. like right now coquette is trending so go right now and crochet something coquette and post it it'll do so good okay go post something coquette right now this january 1st okay i'm telling y'all just stay on top of the trends write down like what's trending and stay on top of it i'm sorry i'm like all over the place because i'm trying to get everything out at once because i'm excited but like i was saying plan your content and make sure you post like one time a day minimum and then more than that is better like keep posting every day don't look at your likes don't look at your views don't look at your followers just post like you post like you are monet mitchell post like you are the most popular social media influencer out there and you need to get your content out for your people to be happy okay because if you don't post you're not going to be interesting anymore nobody's gonna you know you're people are gonna unfollow you or people you're gonna get shadow banned or whatever so post every single day act like this is your nine to five job act like this is what you do for a living and your followers need you to live okay you need to post every single day for your fans so keep that in mind when you don't want to post we live breathe and eat you anyways post 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 on everything i like instagram because instagram you can schedule your content which i like to do like weeks ahead like i have i have a lot of my videos planned out like i have a video planned for tomorrow the next day the next day the next day so then if i don't have time to post on there well i already have it scheduled to post um something i used to do i have no idea if it works or not but i would like look up like the best times to post that i would post at those times you can try that i don't really know if it worked maybe it did maybe it didn't but try everything everything post whatever you can you can look up content ideas like make little short videos make long videos just try everything that you possibly can until you find what does best and keep posting that video and then every time you upload a listing on your etsy or on your depop or on sorry you, whatever if you post a listing make sure that you post about it that you so like one of my favorite types of videos to make is whenever i post something on my etsy i make a tiktok about it and i'm like available on my etsy for purchase so just so people know you know because a lot of people are like oh my god can i buy or like they're thinking like can i buy you know so just make sure that everybody knows that you sell so that's really all i have for like <laughs> my steps Ooh, i need to edit that out now we're gonna get into like the little stuff like the, the other stuff so let's get into promotion promoting your stuff there's paid promotion and there's free promotion paid promotion is gonna be like your advertisements and your ads and all that and you can do I don't know if you could do TikTok ads. I'm not sure, but if you can, and if you want to pay for it, pay for it. Who cares? But if you're going to do TikTok ads, make sure that it's like for sale. Like make sure they know that what you're doing is for sale. Because if they just see you crocheting, okay, are you selling it? Like make sure they know that you're selling it. There's Instagram ads. I've heard about those. And there's Etsy ads. If you're like really wanting to grow your Etsy and you're not seeing yourself going anywhere, pay for Etsy ads. See how it does. If it does good, keep doing it. If it doesn't do good, stop doing it. Advertisements are a good way to grow you can try i've never tried advertisements but i've heard good things about it so you could try that if you really want to and there's also free advertisement which is just posting on social media consistently which is what i did and it worked for me yeah promoting you can you can make business cards put them around you can tell your friends to tell your friends to tell their friends just really put yourself out there don't be shy 
don't be shy because I was really shy and due to that I I could probably be making a lot more money if I wasn't so shy because there's like a lot of people that are like oh I don't know what to get like my girlfriend for her birthday and I'm like oh like whole time I'm thinking man he could just buy like a crop top for me but I'm not gonna tell him that you know like really tell people because they don't you don't know they could really be what the worst they could say is no is that gonna kill you no really put yourself out there because I have a friend who I taught how to crochet. I take credit for that one. She is on her grind because she she's like the top seller at my school because she puts herself out there. and She makes a lot of money from that because she's like, people are like, uh, it's Valentine's Day coming up. And she's like, oh, I sell flowers if you wanna buy flowers for me. And they're like, oh shoot, yeah, yeah, that's easy. Like that's right here, I'll do it right now. You know, so like really put yourself out there if you're in school, put yourself out there at school if you're at work, put yourself out there at work. Just let people know, like make sure it's known that you crochet and you sell your crochet. Make sure that you are known. And who knows, like maybe you, somebody says, hey, I want like, oh, I really want to make something for my newborn baby. And you're like, oh, I'll crochet you a baby blanket. And they're like, oh, cool. They post it on social media, it blows up. You're a billionaire. Please, please put yourself out there, network. Don't be shy. I've lost a lot of opportunities because I failed to take risks. And that's going to be my 2024 New Year's resolution to not be so shy and not be so scared to put myself out there. Next is sponsorships and working with brands. If you are, you don't even have to be a big creator for this. The, one of the biggest myths out there is that you have to have like 10K to work with brands. You don't. Brands actually prefer to work with smaller accounts because I don't know why, but they do. Act like you're, a, you're, you're on your big B, you're on business, like you're standing on business, you got 100K, like act like you are that girl and reach out to whatever, whoever you wanna, whomever you wanna work with. I've reached out to people and I've gotten stuff that I want. Like you don't have to wait for them to reach out to you. And then also like if you reach out to somebody and they work with you, other brands are going to see that you are working with people and they're gonna be like, oh snap, like let me, let me email this girl or let me email this guy. Like make sure that people know that you're open to work with people and make sure that your, your bio has your, make a business email. Make sure your bio has your business email. I forgot to put that, but make a business email separate from every other email that you have. Put that in all your bios. Don't be shy. Tell them like, hey, I'm a small creator and I'm wanting to uh, work with you as a mutual benefit, but make sure you're not begging them. Don't beg them because then they're going to be like, no, like act like you you got like you can either say yes or no and I'm moving out. Like I'm not you don't have a second chance with me. Make sure they know that you mean business. You're not playing, you're not begging, you're not none of that. And also if there's an account that you really want to work with, like say you want to work with Hobby Yarn, follow them on TikTok, stay active on their posts, comment on the posts, like their posts, make sure that they see you. Make sure that they see you and wait a little bit, see if they reach out to you. If they don't reach out to you, reach out to them. Be like, hey, I've been like a, uh, a loyal follower to you guys and I was just wanting to know if you guys wanted to do a, a mutual benefit. I could like get some of my followers. You know, just make sure that you are following them. Like then they can be like, oh snap, like this is like one of one of our like most loyal customers or most loyal, you know? So I feel like that can help you a little bit. Just really make sure that you make a business email and let them know that they can reach you on there because babes, we don't do DMs, we do emails. Make sure that you don't give up, I'm telling you. There's been so many times, like when I first started selling on Etsy, for like the first six months, first year, first two years, I was not making any sales. Like I was making, oh my God, I was making like two sales every three months. Like I wasn't doing anything. And I was like really like, dis you get really, really discouraged. You can get really discouraged if you're not doing as good as you thought you think you'd do or like if you're not doing as good as you wanted to do. It's so easy to get discouraged. Don't let that define you because if I had never continued to post and was consistent with things, even if I didn't want to do it, and even if I was embarrassed and even if I was like, oh my God, like people from school are going to see me like, and I have two likes and they're going to make fun of me. Keep posting. If I had enough keep posting, I would not be talking to you guys right now, giving you guys advice. If I can do it, I'm a little measly little high school girl. You can do it. And I've been doing this since like my sophomore year of high school. I was like a little little girl and I, like, you know, anybody can do it. You don't have to let anything stop. You don't have to be like this big, big creator to make all this sales. No, because even some of the people that I follow um, that make like crochet content, they don't have a lot of followers. Like they have like maybe like 500, 200, 1000, you know, they don't have super, super big followers. And I go to their Etsy and it's like 12,000 sales. You don't have to be a big creator to make good sales. You just have to have good product and good promoting. From me to you, don't give up. If you guys want any advice or tips or just reassurance, just comment on this video, message me anything. I will reach out. To, like I'm telling you, you don't need to give up. You should never give up. 
Don't give up. Because what's the worst that can happen? There's no such thing as failure, it's just lessons. If this doesn't do good, okay, let me try something else, you know? Don't just give up because one thing didn't do good because you don't know what's, you don't know which video is gonna do it for you. You don't know. I didn't know. I posted a random video and I was like, I was just posting and I was like, I'm gonna just keep posting, whatever. I posted the video, I woke up and I it had 11,000 11, likes. Like from going from like 100 likes to 11,000 likes was crazy. So just, you don't know what video is gonna do it. So just keep going. Think of me, like I was just, I was literally nobody. Like stay organized, stay faithful, and stay you, okay? Don't give up because 2024 is gonna be your year and you're gonna be the most successful fiber artist the world has ever known. You are gonna be that girl. You're gonna be able to quit your job and work full-time crochet. You're gonna be able to drop out of school. Okay, well, hold on. You're gonna be able to do whatever you want, okay? <laughs> just, just like, don't give up. Do everything that you can. And if you follow my tips, I don't see why you wouldn't do so good. If you guys have any other tips, put them in the comments. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Anything, concerns, questions, anything, put them in the comments and me or somebody else will answer them. Also put your handle in the comments because we are all together in this. We are all united, we all love each other. So put your Etsy or put your Depop or put your TikTok or your Instagram, put all of it in the comments and everybody, go follow everybody that puts their link in there because we're all helping each other. We're all mutuals, we're all friends. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow y'all too. If I see it, I'm gonna follow it. So go ahead and put y'all's ads and handles in the comments and we're gonna help each other out. We're gonna help each other grow and we're gonna repost each other's videos. We're gonna tag each other in each other's accounts. Like we're going to help each other grow. This is gonna be the start of something amazing for everybody. So make sure you put all y'all's handles in the comments. We're going to together. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be there helping y'all. And together we're gonna grow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I gave you guys all the tips and all the tricks and everything. There's really nothing, like, I know a lot of people think, like, blowing up is, like, you just, there's, like, one little secret that everybody knows and, like, they're not telling you. There's not. I thought there was, too, but there's not. You just gotta be consistent. They're not lying. You just gotta be consistent. I, like, I swear, I was, like, they're doing something behind the scenes, and I'm gonna figure it out, and I'm gonna do it, too. Mm-mm. Honestly, it's just luck. You never know. The, like Once you post a video, it's out of your hands. You can't control how it does. So keep that in mind. You can't be upset over the things that you cannot control. And make sure that if you start a social media account, you start on a new account. Don't post on the account that you already have because social media won't push that out. Like TikTok, if you, if you start posting on an account that you already have, TikTok is not going to push it out because it's an old account. You have to make a new account. So make sure you guys are making new accounts. That's a little trick. Just stay consistent. Stay faithful. Stay graceful. Stay humble and stay happy. I love you guys so much and I really hope I helped you and answered any questions that you have. If you have any more, text me. I'll answer. But yeah, I love you guys and I really hope that 2024 is your year because it's gonna be mine and it's gonna be yours too, okay? So um, all that being said, I'm gonna end the video because if I don't, I'm gonna keep talking. So bye, I love you, bye. Bye!